And first, number one, let's see, has a volume. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Oh, so I wanted to talk about some aftershaves today, Dan. What do you think? You got an aftershave you're wearing? One that you like, one that performs like an EDT? The one I used today was the one I talked about last week, uh, Deverus. <laughs> Going to talk about that. And then I have like a dozen other ones here that we can take a look at. Yo, Brett, what's happening? <laughs> and my nephew is in the live stream. That's pretty cool. Hey, buddy. Love you. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. Um, so today, this is what I wore. I only had it last week. Didn't really, didn't really use it. I have to have an aftershave to match the clone that I'm going to wear because I think it really, really, really just pushes the longevity. Um, I got to say, though, I, I wasn't super impressed with this one. It kind of smelled like a dull lemon, but I just think it's because it's old. I think <laughs> I think all the notes died on it, and that's, that's unfortunate. You really want to trick me into buying something? What you do is you say something's discontinued, vintage, rare, and then slap a Roman-looking sticker on it, and I'll be the first one shelling out hundreds. But yeah, this was 90 bucks. It smells okay, but uh, it's it's not that great. It's not that great. Indiana Jones. That's the funniest thing as well, though. I think the next video I'm going to do of any rare one, I'm going to change the theme song uh, in the opening and I'll have it to be the Indiana Jones theme. I haven't seen that movie in so long. The strongest I own uh, is Vintage Zeno. Hey, you know what also I learned last time we did this, guys, is that I'm blind. So I have my contacts in, so that way I'm not squinting at the, t uh, the screen like I did last time too. When I watched it, I felt like such an idiot but I can read this time. Um, yeah, so this this one was okay. It, it's really got a small uh, small scent to it. It really wasn't that strong. I don't really know what the big deal is. Presentation-wise, it's awesome, but it does not really smell that great. Um, but I don't know if any of you guys have this stuff. Um, Art of Shaving has a scentless aftershave bomb. So if you don't have a aftershave that or aftershave bomb that matches the scent you're using, this stuff's really good and it doesn't smell like anything. I use this every day. I use it anytime I don't have the matching stuff. Um, but this one is, is really, really good. Art of Shaving, I think in general, is a little overpriced and their colognes are okay. They're kind of simple. I think that they cost way too much for what they are. They should be like maximum 20 bucks, but you see the big bottles are like 60 to $80. I think that's crazy. Um, but they do have an unscented aftershave and aftershave bomb, which I think is pretty cool. And that's how you can kind of work in needing that product but not having the scent of the cologne that you're going to match it with too. So this stuff is actually pretty solid. I really like it. Anybody ever use this sniff? No? Yes? But yeah, DeVeris, unfortunately, wasn't so great. Don't often use aftershave. See, I have to because if I shave and I don't let it, I'm absolutely going to get uh, an irritated razor burn for sure. I have to absolutely have to have it on. Uh, it's something I've had since I've been like a little kid. And I remember I had a, uh, went to Catholic high school, right? So certain times I had to shave. That was the school's rule. And my beard grew really fast. And I got caught a couple of times and they would make you go to the, the bathroom and dry shave. And if I didn't have an aftershave, it would be horrible. I'd have the worst after razor burn. Like it'd be all around my neck too. So um, is uh, it's not good. So let's see, Dan, you use... Um, Nivea, okay, for sensitive skin, and you don't shave. <laughs> okay, well, if you don't have to shave, then that's good. The beard scene's in now anyway. Um, my facial hair, I don't like to get too, too long. Let's see. Ben, what's happening, man? One of my favorites uh, in the summer is Aqua Velva from the fridge. So you keep your aftershave in the fridge? Is that what I'm getting? Is that, am I understanding you correctly? In the summer, I only aftershave lotion, and winter, aftershave and aftershave balm. Oh, I use aftershave balm every time. I have to. Otherwise, I get skin irritation. Um that reminds me of this one, Skin Bracer. Who uses this stuff? This is one where you don't even need an EDT. This stuff is so strong. This one is really, really good. Have you tried uh, Burberry Touch for Men? Yeah, I have. That, that's a decent fragrance. It's not one that I would wear often, but I know I've tried it. You can get it at um, like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They have that all over the place. Um, let's see. He have uh, this one, the uh, Skin Bracer by Menon. This stuff is awesome. It's so fresh and the commercials used to be so funny. If you see them on a, yeah, this one's awesome. Uh, if you see them on YouTube, the old, old school, like seventies commercials, this stuff is great. You could wear this and it would substitute for uh, a cologne or, or see this one. I thought would do that since it's a Jacques Bogart, but it didn't. 
this stuff was gone, I would say, almost instantaneously. I didn't like that one at all. Let's see here. What do we got? Skin brace. Your skin brace is awesome. Don't laugh. It's my favorite great smell. Leaves my skin very soft. That's funny. Which one is? Uh, Steven, I I'm trying to read. Skin bracer, we don't have over here in Spain, but do have Aqua Velva. Goes well with any lime. Yeah. Ben, you actually told me that. I think when I reviewed um, Royal Lime by Royal Bermuda, you said that uh, skin bracer is like a good good mix to put in with that too. That's awesome. A colleague from the US brought me two bottles of skin bracer. Yeah, that stuff's awesome. And Dan, you're in Germany, right? Do they have something like that? Is there a German skin bracer? Is there like one that's in Europe that's similar to that, but it's uh, maybe made by the same thing, but it's not the same name? Uh, skin bracer is even okay. Um, I think uh, one of the best parts about aftershave is just the longevity it gives too. So anybody ever heard of this small indie company? I think they're out of New York state. It is fine accoutrement. This stuff is awesome. So they have a couple different ones. This is Italian citrus. This is like their Aqua de Parma Colonia. This stuff is awesome. Smells really, really good. I think it uh, is a substitute for a cologne. This I get at least two hours whole life cycle. And that's really good for an aftershave. This stuff straight is Aqua de Parma. It's probably one of the best clones around. Yeah, it's really, really good. A little bit more lemony than the other one. Like Aqua de Parma, Colonia, it's got that musk. This lacks a little bit of the musk, but it's very, very good. I like this one a lot. Um, and they also have this other one here, green vetiver. This stuff is amazing. This is so tobacco warm vetiver. This stuff is awesome. Very, very masculine, very classic, very old school. Anyone that likes this channel, anyone in this chat right now would definitely enjoy this one too. I haven't used these in a while. I really should. I wasted my scent of the day on Devirus, which, which sucks. <laughs> so that was 90 bucks too. Can you guys believe that? I should like mail that seller like a, uh, one of those exploding cards that gets like glitter all over the place and ruins your day. Uh, this is, this stuff's really, really good though. Cool wave is awesome. I haven't never had that one before. Cool wave by Gillette. Very good. Someone told me about that recently. This, this stuff is nice. Yeah. This stuff's really, really good. Really strong bed of her. This stuff lasts all day. This could be substitute for, uh, for a, uh, cologne for sure. Tobacco is awesome. I have not, uh, ever seen that one before, uh, or excuse me, use that one. I've never had, I, I, I know it's like a classic, but I haven't tried that one. Tobacco supposed to be really, really good. Is it like a, just obviously a tobacco center? Is it soapy? The soap is awesome. Let's see. Oh, you guys know artisan accoutrements, amazing stuff. Never had that one before. There are so many good ones. Tobacco Extreme is stellar too. Hmm. You guys ever use uh, Sterling Soap, any of their brands? I think they're out of like the Midwest. Um, this stuff is really good. So I wanted an Aventus aftershave because Club Dina We Intense Man didn't have an aftershave. This stuff, Executive Man, is really, really good. This stuff uh, would probably substitute as close, if not as good as uh, Club Dina We in terms of an Aventus scent. This stuff's really good. And I'm not too crazy about Aventus anymore. I think it's kind of played out. But if you want an aftershave to stick, this one is really, really good. This one is awesome. Yeah, that's got that real birch tar. I really liked it. So I finally did it. Everyone's been asking me about it. Bowling Green. Here it is. I don't know if the one that I got went bad or not because it kind of smells like a really dank, heavy lemon verbena. Just like you said, Ben. This is the aftershave. I didn't use it, but uh, this stuff smells pretty good. It's pretty fresh. It, I get the opening is just like a Dracar, and then it becomes um, a little bit of a more citrus, kind of brighter citrus and lemon scent. But the opening is gives me a, a hint of Dracar. That one's really, really cool. I like the aftershave. The, the, the cologne that I got, it's like only a, a one-ounce bottle, like 30 ml, but I thought that this one – uh, would be good to match it too. Does everybody like to have an uh, aftershave that matches their fragrance? Do people do that? I feel like I'm one of the few people, at least I have my friends that worry about that more. So I just always like to have that as um, like a backup in terms of, of the scent and if you shave a lot too. But I noticed that uh, maybe I think aftershaves really aren't coming out as much anymore to match fragrances from what I've seen. I don't really look too much into modern scents, so maybe they are and I'm just not noticing it. But I notice all the classics always have an aftershave. I feel like that was a big thing back and clean shave as well too, but beards are more in now. Um, but I like to have the aftershave for every single fragrance. And this one's really cheap too. All, all of these are not expensive at all. I have a couple rarer ones in here. The be all end all though, right here. This stuff, look how green that is. Like if you look at the new Caesars, the frosted glass, look how sick, that, I love this bottle. 
Caesars, man, I don't know why it, it, I'm not sure if it gets enough appreciation. I think some people on here like it, but this stuff is awesome. Steven, you like to have the matching deodorant. So do I, I always try to get the deodorant. That's why like with that Coros cologne sport, I recently reviewed uh, yesterday, that one, um, I had the deodorant on that, that, that stuff's great. I wish that one had an aftershave. Coros has everything though. Same thing with Aqua de Parma. They got everything, but Caesars man, aftershave, this stuff is the best. Give me the bottle. Like it looks like they always differentiate the fragrance from the aftershave by frosting the glass. This one, nice splash bottle. You can't beat that. That stuff's awesome. It just looks good too. So this is my backup one. I brought the full one down just because it looks a little cooler. The one I have, I think is an even older formulation because it's more of a lighter brown, yellowish one, but it's really old and it has the uh, um, Las Vegas, Nevada. So, you know, it was made in the United States. Matching is great, but expensive. And as you said, they are discontinuing many aftershaves. Yeah, or, I don't even, they're just, they're just not making them anymore for whatever reason. Um, well, you know, it depends on the fragrance. I think, you know, if you're always getting super high end stuff, yes, it's going to be expensive. A lot of times well, when I'm looking for scents, the aftershave is more expensive than the cologne was for whatever reason, because maybe they're considered more rare. When I was looking for the aftershave products for uh, Giorgio, Beverly Hills Giorgio for men, they were more money than the fragrance was. I was lucky enough to be gifted the scent by my supervisor, my boss. That's what he used to wear, he said. But um, that was definitely more. I was really, really lucky, and I came across this one, Zars Aftershave. I found it unboxed just like this, full, from a guy on eBay, and I got it for 25 bucks. And Zars' prices are through the roof right now. This one is awesome. Let's see here. What do we got? Yes, matching. Okay, you are really uh, the Indiana Jones of colognes. Germany, we only have one offering of Coros Cologne Sport, one half bottle for 90. Yeah, that's a lot. That's 90 bucks for that. Should try um, Sir Irish Mo Moose. And uh, Ben, what is that? Ben, do you live in the States or you're in Europe? Where are you living? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Alcohol is very bad for your face. Aftershaves have alcohol. They do, but that's why you use Aftershave Bomb. That's why I have to because – if I don't use the aftershave, I get uh, I get a bad irritation. I get razor burn, so I have to use it. That's true, but the aftershave bomb is what will help moisturize and make sure you don't get dried out looking face. But this one is awesome. Zara is a great fr uh, fragrance. Very green. Um, you can't beat this one, and uh, I got a great price on this too, and it's a huge bottle. So hopefully, considering the amount of fragrances I have, this would last me a long time. This is a good one. Let's take a look at two classic Italian ones here. Aqua di Selva. And Aqua de Parma. These two aftershaves. This one's, I'm almost done. I've used a lot of this one. This is great. Aqua de Parma has any product you can think of. Aqua de Selva. Use this one a couple times. Doesn't last that long, but this one is really, really good. These two are awesome. A little bit different. This is a little bit more of a sharper pine and citrus. This is the citrus and musk, but these two aftershaves go a long way. They smell amazing. Make your skin feel really fresh. I really enjoy this one a lot. Let's see. Um, really want to get that Coros Cologne Sport. I'm jealous. Yo, that stuff, insane. It's so good. It really, I'll pause on the aftershaves uh, for a second to talk about that one because that cologne is the, I think the textbook definition of what a sport fragrance should be. That fragrance is, it's like you took cool water, you took a classic blue set, not a modern day one, not Versace Dylan Blue, not, you know, the new polo sport your mom bought you at Target last year. That fragrance is a straight beast, but a refined beast. It's the beast with the suit. It's not the monster. That stuff is awesome. It is Coros to the core, but it's masked on top by a fresh sort of citrus aquatic, but more so aquatic kind of like blue scent. And that's about as blue as I'd like that ever to be. Like if it were more than that, um, I'm not sure if I'd like it as much if it if it didn't if it washed away the Coros DNA because that stuff is amazing. That's a really good find. I really like that one. Check out Phoenix Artisan from Arizona. Uh, amazing performance aftershave splash bombs EDPs matching scents for many old schools. Do so they do like clones? That's pretty cool. I love some Italian supermarket aftershave Prasso and denim. Hmm, denim, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Matt over in the UK was talking about denim on his live stream the other day. That was pretty cool. He's got a great channel. Um, Denim musk is too killer. What about Royal Copenhagen musk? That stuff is awesome. That stuff is, that's pretty nuclear too. That, that really lasts and projects really well. Uh, but what is some, Hey, I like Prasso. Prasso is great. I have a couple Prasso scents. I don't know why I didn't think to bring them down. They're upstairs in my fragrance closet there. Chorus from Greece have some great aftershave bombs. Yeah, I have to use that stuff. I didn't think you shaved though. You said you didn't shave. Classic. 
splash on. So is this cologne or is this aftershave or is this an all purpose? What is this stuff? I don't think, I don't think I got it just to have it because it's, it's like, you can't not have this one. Uh, did I ever get Chanel and Teus? Yes, I have Chanel and Teus. I haven't reviewed it yet. I wore it in the winter time. I bought it for myself for Christmas. You know, it's funny. I went to the King of Prussia mall and that's a mall in Pennsylvania where it's a huge, I'm sure some of you know about it. Some of you maybe that are not in the States don't. It's one of the biggest malls in the United States. And they didn't have it. They didn't have any old school sense at all. All they had was new Chanel stuff. So I ended up having to get that online. So I got the deodorant spray, aftershave, aftershave balm, and the cologne. I think I got the balm. Yeah. And it's all for um, Antaeus. It's good. But it's, people are like, oh, it's it's Chanel's answer to Koros. It's nothing like Koros. Not nearly as good as Koros. It's good, but I didn't like it. I was a little underwhelmed by that one. Um, and I'll, I'll do a review on it eventually. Uh, but I know that's, that's been a requested one, but I was sort of underwhelmed by Antaeus. I don't know if anybody feels the same way, but I was wrong. There is still also aftershave pre-save. Okay. So yeah, never heard of that. You know what I want to try is that, uh, Rogue, uh, Mousse Illumine or whatever it's called. That stuff looks really good. It seems like a really green, fresh scent. A couple of my friends have been getting into green scents recently. Hope you got a vintage Antaeus. No, I didn't get a vintage. I just ordered it from Chanel. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of getting tired of trying to find vintages. A, because they cost more money because the prices go up because they're you know sought after. And a lot of times I get them in there and they've gone bad. Like remember Ungaro Porom? That was like the worst. I got a vintage Duke de Rivain, uh, and that one smelled like just straight vinegar. They all smell the same. The modern formulation of Antaeus is a bit underwhelming. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Well, then maybe that's why. Maybe because obviously the restrictions and on, on what's in it or not. But uh it's uh, was not that it was not that uh, not that great. It smells good. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's a bad scent. It just I was expecting more of like a beast mode, more animalic, and I didn't get that. It was a little bit toned down. But maybe that's what it's for. Everything doesn't need to be chorus. Uh, Antea smells 100 like uh, Eucharist in the dry down. Never tried that one. You find aftershaves on all these old scents. I can never seem to find them. Um, Aqua de Selva, though. I mean, you can get that. You can get, this is an old scent, but you can get that one. You know what I have? I have Fresco. That's upstairs along with the aftershave. I got like a big aftershave from that one. That was awesome. Um, you can't talk about barbershop aftershave without talking about this. No, it's not vintage. I have a vintage bottle of the cologne, but Paco Urban Corom, one of the greatest. One of the greatest of all time. Smells so good. Can't beat it. It is uh, just so masculine. You cannot, cannot beat that. What, what do you guys think? Why do people not like stuff like this anymore? Why is this seem to be out of style? I, I just don't think if, you know, so if something smells good, it's never going to smell bad. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, oh yeah. So I got to talk about these too. So everyone likes Reeve Gosh here, right? That's one of the best from YSL. I was lucky enough to get a new formulation bottle, but they discontinued it. So I do have that. Um, but again, fine accoutrements, American blend and their aftershave bomb. This stuff is dead on, dead on to uh, what's it called? Uh, Reef Gosh. And then they have the EDT here as well, too. Someone um, was talking about this one. Oh, God, this stuff smells so fresh. Just the black licorice and and like the lavender in that. This stuff is amazing. Paco or Bond Pour Home Aftershave is amazing. Has menthol, is dirt cheap for a real designer. Um, yeah, I think I think I, I spent like 40 bucks on that whenever I got it. Let's see, have you tried the original Aramis? I think it's a masterpiece and think you will enjoy it a lot. I own Aramis and I own the aftershave for Aramis. It's upstairs. I, for whatever reason, do not wear it that often. Um, I don't dislike it. I don't think it's among my top favorites though. It, it See, to me now, I've always had that one because I've smelled that like a long, long time ago. It's, in my mind, that... Um, I hate to say dated, but that one kind of gives me the super old school feel and something that I wouldn't wear as often. It's a little harsher than, uh, than some of the fragrances I like, even though I liked, um, you know, old school classic ones, but Aramis is good. I'll, I'll review it. So many people have asked me to review that one. I, I should, I need to give it its respect. It's a good fragrance, but for whatever reason, it's not my favorite out of the Aramis flankers though. I think the original one's the best for sure. I remember having Tuscany. I was my dad's when I was a kid. And that, that one I, I thought was, uh, was, was good too, but the original Aramis is good. It, it, it is a classic, but I think there are other ones that are great. Um, let's see here. American blend is better than Reef Gosh. Mm, it's great. Like if you spray this on your shirt or something like that, it's going to smell for days. This stuff is really, really good. Yeah. I like that one as well. Um, let's see what else did I bring down here? Kind of completely whitewashed all over brute. We didn't talk about brute. What is the splash on? Is it cologne? Is it aftershave? 
Is it sink cleaner? What is it? <laughs> Stuff is unbelievable. Remember Brood Special Reserve? That's so funny. Let's see. And saves a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Interesting can. Uh, all right. Check this out. One man show aftershave. I had to get this one. This stuff is, this is equally as strong as the cologne. Bogarts. Now see, I was lucky with this one because this is definitely vintage because this is definitely not made anymore. Um, but, and look at that color on that one too, compared to the new one. This one is intact 100%. Doesn't have that vinegar smell at all. Yeah, this stuff is piney as hell. I, I actually, I can't even smell it because uh, American Blend is like blasting up my nose here. Yeah, one man show. Like, this is awesome. Why does everybody ride all over Oud and uh, Ruby Red or Ruby Edition and, and uh, Gold Edition? Those all, compared to the original one, are not nearly as good. Oud is good. Gold Edition, I was underwhelmed by. One Man Show, the original One Man Show, is a beast. Absolute beast. I Are you wearing One Man Show, Oswald? See, is, this is the best one. The opening, I can see why people think it's rough, but I think that's what makes the scent. I think that's what makes it stand out, and that's what gives it that, like, punch in the second you, you spray it. And then the soapy dry down is amazing. This one is awesome. Gold edition, I could take or leave. Ruby edition, same type of thing. Oud is pretty good. And I have not tried that emerald one today. Emerald one is not uh, not on my radar. It's not only if you think it's available in the United States, you'd have to order it from another country on eBay. Now that it's expensive, like I wouldn't mind eventually trying it, but um, that one is um, Probably not very good. It doesn't even like look good. It looks like it would suck, to be honest with you. It looks like it would be like a, like a lot like Ruby. Like it's almost like a candy, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Almost caricature of a fragrance, but it's not one that I would want to have too much. So this is brand new in my uh, fragrance collection here, guys. Victor. I've been getting into the house of Victor again. Obviously, Aqua de Selva. Victor and Visconti di Madrone. I'm assuming they're one and the same. Um, but this is Victor Club. This one smells so good. It's got Victor performance. So what that means is that by the time you leave your house, you need to reapply it because it's gone already, but it smells so good. This is a 50 ml. I was a cheap ass and bought the 50 ml. I should have just spent the additional like $9 and got the 3.4 because I love the stuff. This stuff is really good. Let's see. Crizia Womo is similar to One Man Show. Worth checking out. I've heard that. I want to try that one. Um, I think I can get it on Fragrance X if I want to buy that one too. Man, how big is your apartment? that you're able to store all that stuff in. It's um, like 50,000 square feet, Dan. That's how big it is. So like, I would say 49,000 square feet of it are dedicated to just cologne. So I live in like a closet. That's where I sleep upside down. No, it's a normal size home, <laughs> condo. But um, anyway, uh, this stuff's really good. Kind of a weird cap. It said spray and I get it. And naturally it wasn't a spray, it was a splash. And you got that Victor Dapper on there. Aqua de Selva has the same thing. So that smells like one man show. Smell like 10 different colognes here. This stuff, I feel like the top notes are a little gone. I kind of get that vinegar smell, but then it goes right into Dracar Noir. It smells just like Dracar. You can't, you can't complain if something smells like Dracar Noir. Let's see. The terms are uh, sort of interchangeable because aftershave was many term. We even cologne. Yeah, that's true. I think even like what are those like all purpose lotions? Those things are. Uh, Body cologne, it's considered the same thing. I just, it's obviously the concentration of ingredient that's going to make it last longer too. So, um, but this bottle's cool. Like, look at that. It's even got that embossed V in there. You can see that cool uh, on the front. Has anyone tried an original Victor? Like just the original one? Because this one, this one smells so good. Super green. Mm, I'm getting a whiff of one man show and this together. This is awesome. Yovan sex appeal aftershave. Whoa, strong old school scent. Yovan sex appeal, really? All right, Brian, I'll take your word for it. Um, Yovan Musk is great, and and I have the aftershave for that. That's that's pretty good. Uh, I, I pretty much want to have an aftershave for everything that I have. Um, I really wish Deverus was more potent. I'm like very disappointed in that one. And again, like I said, just use the uh, the Roman look to it, and I'll buy it. Uh, that I got tricked into that one here. Yovan Musk is also great. Yeah, absolutely. This one's cool. Check it out. I want to try the original Victor, but this is Victor Club. Do you guys know what makes a scent a club scent? What does that mean? You know how there's sport? What makes a club scent? What's this, what's club? What does that mean? Does that mean you wear it to a country club? Is that a lighter version of it? Do you guys know what that means? I was going to ask that question. I'm glad that I remembered too. So I forgot. 
I'd love to see you review sex appeal. You know who did um, was uh, Ash from Gensense. I think he did like a random cheap cologne review, which he does. And he's one of my favorite, favorite uh, reviewers. Um, because again, he's very consistent in how he reviews things. But uh, he did Jovan sex appeal and he kind of, and he didn't even say it was bad. I think he, he did that one or like Tropical Musk. One of those Jovan ones are, uh, are on there too. Uh, did I bring anything else down? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it for, for my aftershaves. But um, heavy, sweet, strong projection bubble gum is what? What is that? Is that what a club scent is, Dan? Is that what that means? Because let's see. I'd say country club. Think Aqua de Parma Colonial Club. Yeah, mint is that, – that one is awesome. I really like that one a lot. I don't have that one. That's like the one Aqua de Parma I want. I wish I bought um, – I wish I bought that instead of Ascenza because Ascenza, I'm like so so on. It's a little bit cleaning product. It's it's good, but it's not great. Like the original one's my favorite. Again, top three for me. Uh, but Club is really really good. Um, Aqua de Parma Sandalo is amazing. That's out of their ingredient line. But okay, so that's what Club means: heavy, sweet, strong projection. Then that's what this one is. I wouldn't say it's sweet, but it's definitely heavy and it projects strong and it's really mossy and woody. So I think that uh, you mean meant club clubbing or as in club, like, no, not like clubbing. Um, Aqua de Parma Colonial uh, Colonia Club. That's what I meant. Like what makes a club scent? Like see how this says Victor, Victor Club on that? Not like I'm going to a nightclub. So yeah, you, you got it right. Uh, the one and only here, never duplicated. So that that one is um, that one is, is really good. I want to know what, what makes a scent a club scent. What does that mean necessarily? Not nightclub, but if heavy, sweet bubble gum, that Dan, I think, did you mean like nightclub? That sounds more like a nightclub one. But the um, if the latter, then I think green. See, that's what I thought too. Heavy, but I because when he said bubble gum, I was thinking that didn't resonate with me. But the definitely green, like um, polo for men or uh, Duke Zivervon. That one is very green. ADP ascends. It smells like cleaning product. Great, but I thought too. Yeah, I. It, I have a lot of it. I, I speaking of having aftershaves, I have the aftershave. I have the ball. I have bought all that stuff for thinking I love it. Made the mistake and I like it, but I was kind of like, ah, it's okay. It's not that great. It's not that great. Um, the original and uh, Colonia Club are are the ones to look at too. And then Intense is actually really good too. That one smells really good. But um, I only have a small like one point seven bottle of that one. But it's almost gone. I should probably get more. Yeah, I meant Club is in not a uh, not Country Club. Yeah, Club Scene, meaning uh, the ultimate clubbing scent. Le Mans by Jean-Paul Gaultier. That's the best one. The original of anything is always usually the best. Agreed, for sure, for sure. But there are some flankers that are really good for, for example, like I'm digging these Kuros flankers, man. They are awesome. They're as good, not as good as the original, but they're right up there. They're right up there too. Um, and Tensa was discontinued, was it? I didn't, that's that's crazy. I didn't know that. Old Spice, discuss. Um I don't really have any old spice anymore. I had the aftershave. See, and that's another thing. Like fragrance for me started a lot with aftershaves because that's what I have. Like when I had to shave in high school and I didn't have too many colognes, I would use the aftershave and they would stick too. So that's uh old spice aftershave is always a classic for sure. Let's see. One million. Yeah, one million. Of course, one million by Pocker Bonds. Absolutely a clubbing scent for sure. Um, uh, that's nightclub, not country club. This is definitely country club. This is like, I'm going to go golfing later. And then I'm going to sit down and have a club steak in my country club with my club friends. And then maybe play some croquet with some clubs. I have Old Spice white water. Oh, yes. How could we miss Old Spice? Let's see. Uh, I have Colonia OG and P Yeah, Colonia, the original one, is the best. Pure is okay. Um, you know, the last year I saw some Aqua de Parmas and they were in Marshalls, which is a discount store here in the United States for anyone that's overseas and doesn't know. I'm sure you do. And they were all marked down like five bucks from what they normally are. I was like, that's so lame. I probably should have just bought them online. I didn't buy them there, but I could have bought them online is what I meant to say. Um, yeah. So the o Old Spice is all about their body wash now. I don't think they really do. Uh, ben, you were talking to me about... Um, you were talking to me about uh, fresh limes. You were saying that that one was like really synthetic. That looks like that looks like it would be good, but it looks like the performance. Anything lime I've had, like West Indian lime by Crabtree and Evelyn, or the Royal Lime by Royal Bermuda, the lime scents, whether it's an aftershave or a fragrance, they never last that long. Unfortunately, I even had the uh, lime West Indian lime by St. John's. Stuff A smelled like baby powder. It didn't smell like limes at all, and it was gone. Costco has Aqua de Parma Colonia. I believe it. Costco's got Creed, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, Saluta is, uh, is one of the discontinued ones. Not sure one of the two is. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really gotten an aqua department in a while. I just like to stick to the original one because I got the body spray, their aftershave balm, all that stuff. They have every product. They like, I, I think I talked about it last time. They even have like drawer, drawer scents. They've got air fresheners. They got candles. Yeah. Fresh lime is abysmal. <laughs> Here is a guy uh, on YT who has a video where he reviews ADP club. He got for $12. Um, Let's see. Is that that, uh, Dan, is that that um, guy from the South? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the TLTG. He, like all he does are lists. He does like list after list after list after list. Yeah. That guy's a salesperson through and through. I think he said that he was a car dealership. He worked at a car dealership and sold cars because he loves the, uh, he's good. His channel blew up really, really fast. But yeah, he got, I saw that like a while ago. He got Colonia Club for $10. I'm like, how the hell do you think he is? How the hell do you do that? Like, that's crazy. What store were they retarded? Like, how did they not know that that's how much, they could have gotten so much more for that? That's so funny. But yeah, he's his channel is interesting. Um, I watch it. I subscribe to it. Good reviewer, but he's a salesperson. And you can just tell just by the way he interacts. But I used to do it. It's why I was really into fragrances because I was in a heavy sales role for a long time. Um, and scents were a big part of that. You know what I mean? That's something I would wear every day. I used to have the same one. And I think that's where a signature scent really can come into play. And that's where like I almost miss having only a few because of that reason. But um, yeah, that's 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 interesting uh, that he got that set for for that cheap. That's crazy. Ten dollars. You got it for ten dollars. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, he did. He got it at Marshall's. That, that's crazy, too. That's one hundred and twenty dollar bottle right there. Easily, easily. Um, I never see that that type of high end stuff. I saw it. See, that was at my Marshall's, the Aqua Department. I shouldn't say I never see it, but it was it was like 90 bucks. And I know I could go on fragrance that I know I can go online and get something cheaper than that. And um yeah. Plus, you know, I like, but if you see it there for really cheap, you got to buy it. Cause if you go back there, it's not going to be there anymore. But yes, I think it's TL. You're right. It's TLTG review. He, um, he did the trash or treasure that he doesn't do that anymore. I actually like that. That was pretty cool, but he would go to and buy a bunch and get, get a bunch at a time too. Um, and I used to do that at, at Marshall's and TJ Maxx, like just buy a bunch and see if, which ones I liked, but I would pretty much go for the one, like I would know if I liked it and I like to do that again. I like, uh, but beware of his indie reviews. I think he's getting tons of freebies and hypes them all. Well, you know, I mean, Hey, if he's getting a ton of free stuff, that's pretty cool. Good for him. But I think I can see, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Like he's uh, it's almost like it's, it's staged a little bit, but we'll never know. He's got a good channel. He's got a good channel and it, it exploded and he definitely likes fragrances. The shift in from watching stuff like that, him and any, any reviewer really, they like when he started out, he was all like low end designer sets. And then you can see progressively as he gets more into it and his tastes have changed, you'll see what he reviews now compared to his older videos. And, and, and that's, and that's pretty cool. And you can see what different ones is. Yeah. So he, he's got a lot of different scents too. Um, I really like Chris from Scentland. That guy, see, now I'll give credit. He's where I got the cologne sport from. He reviewed that before I did. And that scent, he's got a good review of it too. And I liked his description of it. Um, and that's where I got the, um, that's where I first watched the review of that. And then I'm like, I think I want that because I wanted a Coro scent that I could wear in the heat. And you can't wear a regular Coro in the heat. I mean, you could maybe one spray, but um, fuck, you can wear Coro anytime. That's the best scent in the world. But, you know, if you want a more appropriate fragrance, Coro's Cologne Sports where it's at. There is a point in which some, most of his channel sell out of the channel. So, yeah, I mean, you know, Chris from Scentland is really good. I hope I get to the sellout point, guys. No, I'm just kidding. I probably won't. <laughs> uh, but getting free stuff is cool. I mean, hey, you can't hate on the guy for that. That's awesome. Let's see. You and Chris are almost the last two that I watch and enjoy. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I hope everybody enjoys it. That's why I just don't find the newer stuff as interesting. There are probably some niche scents out there that are that are modern, but niche and the quality is really, really good. Like, for example, like, like Creed's Blood of Portugal. That one, I love that scent. But like if I were to be gifted at Aventus, I'd keep it, but I don't see myself going out and buying it because there's so many different clones of it. I know what it smells like. It's like, I feel like if I were to have bought Aventus, I would have bought it like three years ago, like when I first was starting to get into all owning a bunch of different fragrances too. Uh, Chris from Santland, um, but he's cost me a, a, a lot in hunting down discontinued fragrances. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think so. Um, me too. And so has like a lot of reviewers, but like what I used to do is I would just search random reviews and you'd find like random reviews. Mr. Smelly from England, that guy loves, he's probably another one of my favorites as well. He's from uh, another, my Euro reviewers, his, his channel's great. And he reviews great stuff, has great lists as well too. 
Do you, yes, the two are expensive. Let's see. You have a uh, charisma with you, which you cannot learn. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate it. Um, hopefully it will. Hopefully, hopefully it'll freaking bring back uh, classics, make America and Europe smell great again, smell manly again, and stop wearing Y by YSL, which is garbage. You know, I got gifted that by my sisters. My si so check this. It's a funny story. My younger sister was dating this guy right for for a while. Nice kid. And that's not what the point of the story is. They don't date anymore. But for two Christmases, we made a joke. Every Christmas, we'd get each other a cologne. I would get him a cologne, and he would get me one. So he bought me Y by YSL. And then the next year bought me Black Orchid by Tom Ford. I hated both of them. Never wore them, sat on them for a while, and just re-gifted them to two of my two uh two of my other friends. And and yeah, and they love them. They're like, oh, it's so great. I love Y by YSL. Y by YSL is um not that great to me. Black Orchid smelled awful. I could not wear that one. Some people love it. They're like, oh, it's so great and it's expensive. Um, yeah, that one is Vitor Hugo Rosa from Portugal. Hello, how are you? But back to, yeah, Black Orchid was trash. I didn't like that one. It's very high end, not good at all. Um, yeah, uh, Mr. Smelly's great. Yeah, he's um, waiting to see so your order Gravitas. I wonder how that smells. I'm sure it's going to be good. I would imagine it won't be too daring because I feel like on your first fragrance, maybe slightly on the leaning towards crowd pleasing would be like the smart business move to do. But see, he's going to be the one because a couple of reviewers are making sense now. He's going to be the guy that is going to review his fragrances that are classics. He likes classic scent. So his scent that he makes will be on the classic side. I think that'll be cool. Synthetic shit like Savage. Yeah, so bad. Mr. Smelly's great. He is awesome. He's really good. All these reviewers are good. TLTG reviews. got great, great list. I like watching his lists. Um, he's on, he teeters on the designer side. Some of the scents I, I don't own. So I, I, it's hard for me to relate. Uh, Red Alessence is great too. Uh, but I think my favorites are, I like Mr. Smelly. I like, uh, Jensen's Ash, that guy's great. I like um, what? What's the? And then of course, Chris from Scentland. There's probably the ones that I enjoy. So, Thomas from Stumpton Smells. That's cool. Yes, I, I don't know. I don't know if I've had that uh, experience that one before. Um, but those are those are all 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 those guys are great. They all, every reviewer has their own thing, and that and that's what um, that's what is, is cool to see how how, how they present themselves, not only themselves, but what fragrances they're into, you know, watching the progression from what they started like, like what, what they're into now, like where I had mentioned, I really only like to have one or two. And then obviously that, that changed dramatically and I have a ton now. So seeing that, that growth, that development in anybody is, is pretty cool, no matter who it is. So, um, you know, there, that's the, the fragrance community for sure. There's a lot. Let's see. San Diego. Hello. Do you announce what you're wearing today? Today? Yeah, I did. I did. And it, I'm really disappointed with it. I'll, I'll talk about that again for anyone that missed it. And for anyone that is hearing me talk about it again for like the umpteenth time, I'm sorry. So I bought this stuff, DeVirus, and it's Jacques Bogart, and it's supposed to be rare. And I got sold by the presentation again. And it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like orange peels in the beginning, and then it goes away. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, get the original Usavage. Yeah, everybody says I got to get that one too. Bel Air, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. You know what I want to do? I think when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll do a giveaway and you know what I'm going to give away. And I don't know how I'm going to randomly select somebody, but I'm going to give away all of my poor own by Van Cleef and Arpels. Cause I absolutely can't stand that scent. And I know some people absolutely love it. And there are people that should be enjoying that. And it should not just be sitting upstairs in my fragrance closet. So that's what I'm going to give away. I'm announcing it now. 1,000 subscribers, they're going to get, whoever wins would get a unopened sealed box, a 99% open bottle, no box, and a 100% full no box aftershave. That's what I'm going to do. Have you tried Prosso Menthol uh, Eucalyptus Splash? I guess I have. I own it. It's amazing. I shave every time with Prosso uh, Shaving Cream too. It's so cooling and you can feel it like tingling your skin on your face. Awesome stuff. They're very, very Italian, very, very barbershop. Really, really like that stuff. Um, I think that uh, it's great, especially if you're going to use an aftershave and then you're going to use a scent that's not going to match that one. That's a great That's a great move because they don't last super long, but they smell great too. Very fresh. Uh, let's see. What does it say? I do enjoy does his weekly scents of the week on Sunday. Uh, yeah, that's true. He does do that. He, you know what though? Like that's a lot of, he's dedicated to it. Like he has a lot of video. He's telling what you wear. Do you guys really care what I wear during the week? Is that like, am I going to be too into myself if I do that? I think that that might be over the top if I did that. Um, I know he does that. But, and a lot of guys do it. And he, he does it very well. 
Um, I guess I could do the fragrance rotation, like what I wore. But what I like to do is because you know what um, I wear because I'll wear one throughout the week and then I will review it. So I'll, I'll do that all the time. That one is um, Mr. Pizza Chet, nice robe. Yeah, I figured out who that was. He's one of my best friends from high school. He comes in to troll my uh, my live streams too. So um, yeah, this robe is nice. It was awesome. I love it. It's so obnoxious. I'm going to savor champagne in it later. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so you guys know what I wear throughout the week because uh, whatever I review on Saturday, whenever I post that, dude, that's what I wore because I have to wear it sometimes for a week, sometimes 10 days. I didn't need that long for uh, Coros Cologne Sport, even though I did wear it every day that week. It's awesome. That That is such a badass scent. Coros in general is, but are there any frags uh, marketed towards women that you'd like to wear? Um, no, not really. I don't, I don't think so. Not that I know of. Um, there are unisex ones for sure. Some Tom Fords like, um, Neroli Portofino that I, I think you, a guy or a girl could wear or 4711 by Mauer and Wurtz. Uh, I think men or women could wear, um, but not anything in particular that I would find a, a girl's fragrance that I would be wearing too. They should make some women's like Dracar Noir. <laughs> I bought my girlfriend Caesar's woman. She likes that one a lot. Um, and to her credit, that's who's crushing it with all my editing and and uh, video. I got to give her credit for that as well. Let's see. Yes, is great. Get 15 hours wearing it with the current form. Many confuse old, gone bad clones with original formulation. Yeah, I don't know. Have you tried any Izzy Miyake fragrances? No. No, I have not tried any Izzy Miyake. I, they look like they're not that great. Um, uh, I think that they... Again, I'm talking out of school because I haven't tried any, but I'm not, they don't, they're not as appealing looking to me. Let, let, let me put it that way. For me, they don't look as, as cool. So, um, are they really good? You guys can tell me, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I think that that is, um, to be decided. And maybe if I, if I had one, like they're at the store a lot of the times at the, at the rack stores and whenever we're allowed to go back to stores, maybe I could try that. If you tried Dunhill edition, I've tried Dunhill um, Dunhill Desire Red. That was cool. I wanted to try Icon. That's what's one I want. Um, everybody should own Caesars, man. I think it's the greenest, best, badass Dracar clone. Not clone, Dracar family line. Love that you review uh, manly fragrances. A man can't stand the pixie stick root beer fragrances that have become staple. Have no desire to smell like a candy store. Garbage. Keep it up. I really appreciate it. And that's exactly how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. They should just throw a grenade in the Macy's fragrance section and blow out all that uh, blue, blue scented crap. Maybe keep some of the classics. That's funny. Um, love, ooh, blue, dizzy. Do you have uh, been into Cypress and Rosemary? But I like Cypress. I like uh, uh, Halston Z14. That one's pretty good. That one's really good. Based on your likes, May uh, fragrances by Roja Dove. Yeah, well... They're very, very high end. Uh, there was a Jakar Noir joke on SNL's weekend update last night. Now that's <laughs> some staying power. That's funny. Um, BitTR, how are you, man? Thanks for stopping by. Let's see. Uh, you should try more from Dunhill, mate. Yeah, Dun Dunhill's solid. I hear the Dunhill icon performance isn't that great. Not that that's going to stop me. Um, Ultra Male was a gag in inducer to me. I love regular the male. I don't think I've tried Ultra Male, but isn't it just like a little bit of a stronger? Um, Suggest something like Bogart Oud Edition. We were just talking about that, actually, because I was talking about how I have the one-man show, Aftershave. I kind of started this off before we started talking about all random stuff about Aftershaves. And one-man show original and one-man show Oud are the two best out of that line um, and probably the staples in Jacques Bogart in general. Jacques Bogart's got a lot of good sense, too. Suggest something like that. Yeah, that, that's an awesome one. Um, there, there, are, there are so many good ones, but the, the, the best part about the classes is just, just how, they, how they last longer, how they smell, they're more masculine. And if you wear them now in the world of what's out there, you're going to stand out for sure. That's going to be the, that's the best part about it. Let's see. Rasasi, haven't tried it. We'll get one man show. Get one man show and get Oud Edition. Get them both. So that way you have both. You know why? Because they're like 12 bucks. You can't beat it. If you like green pine in your face, you're going to like the original. If you like the Oud, it's synthetic and not as natural maybe as like a Tom Ford Oud would, but it smells great and it's strong as hell. And they project one, two sprays under your shirt. You're good for the whole day for sure. They're awesome. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to continue to do these live streams. I, I enjoy them, but uh, I got a Beverly, Georgia Beverly Hills. Awesome. Yeah, that's a great one. Reviewed it. That's an awesome scent. I was lucky to be gifted a um, 
a vintage bottle. Let's see. So that, that's an awesome one. I should try Shura from Rosasi. Okay. Okay. What's that one like? Let's see here. Georgia Beverly Hills, though. Man, I got to start wearing that again. <sighs> Let's see. Got Lamani coming in this week. Thanks to review. Oh, Brian, you're going to love Lamani Pour Rome. It's amazing. Um, and what Beverly Hills smells like. It, it's, uh, it's a true powerhouse for sure. Have you tried a vintage Aqua di Gio? Uh, probably when I was a kid because my dad would wear that like every guy in that era. Uh, he had that in the 90s big time. That was a big one. I probably remember smelling it, but I, I don't own one. Um, Giorgio Beverly Hills is just the beast. You can't beat that one, uh, but you are, but you got to get, if you can get a vintage, you can, apparently the new one is equally as strong. So you don't, I don't think you have to worry about it. Um, but they, the juice color is really different though. Uh, so that's where like, I, I would imagine they don't smell exactly the same, but I don't, I don't think they're too far off. So you'd probably be fine getting that. Um, so, uh, anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I got some things I got to do, like absolutely nothing and relax, but I wanted to talk about some aftershaves. I will think of, uh, of another topic we can talk about. Maybe if I don't do one this upcoming Sunday, maybe I'll do one, uh, you know, every other week. Uh, but I really appreciate everyone coming in and, 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 you know, contributing to the conversation and, and throwing suggestions out there for fragrances that I can review and all for all the support, and the kind words I really enjoy it. I hope you guys are enjoying the reviews. Um, and that one is, is, uh, uh, you know, really important to me that that it's it's something that you guys like and enjoy obviously if you're going to take the time to watch it out of your day to watch me talk about a cologne too so i really appreciate it so what's the last question here what aftershave shower gel deodorant do you use when you don't have matching scents that's a great question i'll answer that one um i like duke cannon sandalwood deodorant you know why it's all natural there's not it's not an any purse when i can't use any purse when i get the irritation so i use that one and sandalwood goes a lot with a lot of my uh fragrances that i have and it is um not overpowering scent. It won't interfere with anything. For body wash, I use some Duke Cannon, but I also use uh, Art of Shaving Sandalwood as well too. Um, and I think that it is uh, a very toned down scent, but I try to get the matching. The shower gels are great to have as well too. So um, men don't shave. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I have to shave. I have to. I like clean shave look. So anyway, anyway, guys, everyone have a great weekend. I will... See you guys in the next episode. Take care. Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it.